Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 24th series of uh, Principles of uh, Drug Discovery. In this uh, video, we are going to see about uh, protein tertiary structure prediction by homology modeling. So let us know what is homology modeling. So you have a DNA sequence, a particular gene, and you get a sequence out of it based on the codons. If you want to model this protein, how this protein will be, how uh, the this is basically a, a primary structure. Uh, if you connect this, but what about the secondary structure, tertiary or quaternary structure? Uh, when you want to build it, then you have uh, you should build it such that you work for molecular docking or whatever it is <coughs> for computational methods. But when you want to model this, there are some techniques like. Uh, X-ray, NMR, or cryo-electron microscopy, but these methods are costly and time-consuming. So, what is the solution for this? So, you can do uh, the comp uh, with the help of uh, computers uh, the only on the online uh, servers. You can build this, and that is called homology modeling. So, first you have to blast the sequence. You have to search the identical uh, proteins which are related to this. <coughs> Then you can do homology modeling or threading. So in this video, we'll see brief about it. So protein tertiary structure prediction. Homology modeling. Assume that we have a raw primary sequence of the target protein. Blast with the PDB database. Study similar things if available. If similar proteins are available, which, which uh, share the sequences like this protein, then study that. If the tertiary structure is not available, then the homology modeling cannot be used. There should be at least a few structures which are available in the protein data bank database. Then only you can do homology modeling. <coughs> so you are in the from the NIH, that is National Library of Medicine. Uh, you can uh, select the sequences or the sequences you have. You do a blast. That is uh, basic local alignment search tool. Uh, stool. That is uh, do a protein blast <coughs> from the database, protein data bank uh, database uh, that analyzes the similar structures. If similar structures are available, then we can do homology modeling. So you have a sequence. These are the steps involved in this. The target sequence or template selection has to be done. First, you should have the uh, sequence then the second one is you have to align the sequences with the uh, matched proteins uh, which the blast has been done then you have to build the backbone so then you can do loop modeling uh, because of the alpha sheets alpha helix and beta sheets they connect by loops so you can uh, do uh, loop modeling and uh, side chain modeling then you can do model refinement using energy calculations and model validation by different methods such as Ramachandran plot or any other methods. The famous one is Ramachandran plot. So this is called homology modeling. So notes on homology modeling. Homology modeling is also known as comparative modeling. It's a computational technique used in structural biology to predict the 3D structure of a protein based on its amino acid sequence and the known structures of the related proteins. This method relies on the assumption that proteins with similar sequences share similar structures and functions. First thing is a template has to be selected. The first step is to identify one or more template structures that have a significant sequence similarity with the target protein. These template structures serve as a starting point for building the model. Then the sequences has to be aligned. The target proteins amino acid sequence should be aligned with the sequences of the selected templates. Uh, it enables a transfer of structural information. Then next is model construction using sequence alignment as a guide. See there are some logics when these sequences are present they will fold like this. You can build the corresponding residues in the template structures in, at the corresponding positions in the target sequence loop regions and the regions with insertions or deletions are often modeled separately then model refinement the initial model is then subjected to energy minimization 
and optimization using molecular dynamic simulations or other methods to relax the structure and remove any steric clashes or geometric inconsistencies. Then model has to be evaluated. Uh, as I previously told, uh, it is by Ramachandran plot. You can there are you can verify the 3D structure and other structure evaluation tools. The metrics help to determine the reliability and accuracy of the model. It is important to note that the accuracy of the homology models depends on the similarity between the target and the template sequences. Sequence similarity should be greater than 40%, then only we can do homology modeling. And the resolution should be less than uh, 2 Armstrong's root mean square uh, deviation. High sequence similarity between the target and the templates generally leads to more accurate predictions, whereas low sequence similarity may result in less reliable methods less reliable models homology modeling has become an essential tool in structural biology especially when the experimental techniques like x-ray crystallography or nmr spectroscopy are challenging or time consuming to use it is widely used in various research areas including drug discovery protein structure uh, uh, function prediction and understanding the molecular mechanisms of diseases Online tools are there to build the homology modeling. One is Modeler, the famous program. It is free of uh, use for academic use. It's a program for comparative uh, protein structure modeling by satisfaction of spatial restraints. The next tool is Swiss model. Uh, it is fully automated. Uh, the server is a XPSI web server. Uh, it makes the protein uh, modeling accessible to the science researchers worldwide it is free to use the next is fire uh, square that is a protein homology analog y recognition engine uh, the here you can register the results will be posted to your uh, the mail which we you will be feeding next is uh, itaser it is a protein structure and uh, function predictor here it is uh, you can register and uh, you can do homology modeling by using this software also online software the next one is a easy spread uh, 3d web server uh, it is a new automated uh, homology modeling program the three dimensional structures is built using modeling package modeler it has an interface with modeler the next is uh, orion uh, optimized protein fold uh, recognition uh, it is a sensitive method that relies on better description it gives the fold fragments also it is used a very famous uh, program used for homology modeling let us see some of the limitations of uh, homology modeling incorrect choice of template may happen in case of multi-domain proteins errors may happen in uh, loop building errors may occur with the personal skills and knowledge about the proteins so it's a very short uh, explanation of uh, homology modeling i hope it will be useful for you Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel. If you like this video, kindly press the like button and encourage us. Go through all the series and score well in your examinations.